Good afternoon, I'm Charles Hill. I work at East Cleveland Public Library. Currently, I'm serving as the Career Center Coordinator. What we're going to do today, we're going to talk about some job stuff, and the title of everything is called The Pursuit of a Position. I like it. I like it, Mr. Hill. Very, very nice. Now, when we say pursuit of a position, we're talking about moving from one place to another. Perhaps you may be unemployed at this time because a lot of people are unemployed. Then you are seeking a position or you may even be in a position and you want to make a change or an adjustment. So we're just going to give you a few hints, tips, skills, pointers on how you can make some of those adjustments and where you need to start. You got to start with some self-evaluation. Self-evaluation is knowing who you are and where you are at this point as it relates to finding a job, seeking a job, or moving to another job or position at your current job. Know your strengths. You're going to need a piece of paper and pencil. List what your strengths are. For example, Mr. Hill, what would you consider one of your strengths? Although you have many. We don't have all day, Mr. Hill. Just give us a few. I said one of my biggest strengths was being uh, helpful and communicating with people. That's one of my biggest strengths. Hey, that's good. One of mine is being resourceful. I like being resourceful. Okay. 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 And um, can you name another strength you might have that may be really needed in the well, job force? One of the biggest strengths I think right now, especially with the COVID-19 going, is computer skills. You must have good computer skills. You tap right into that real fast. We'll get back to that down the line. Thank you. And, and also being flexible. Now things are going to change, whether you're looking for a job or currently on a job. Based on, the pandem based on the pandemic, things are changing daily. So if you think you were flexible before, you're going to be like a rubber band from this point on. Okay. Now, once you list your strengths, and I know that you have many, then you have to really do some inside searching for your weaknesses. Okay, Mr. Hill? Now, I don't know if it's a weakness or not, but I would say one of the weaknesses I would have was sometimes being a little bit too helpful with people. Sometimes you have to let some people find their own way. And sometimes you can't mm -hmm. let them do everything for them. You have to let them be able to, I would say, fish around for themselves and just see what they can come up with sometimes. Okay, okay. So, so how do you adjust or work that out? Well, a lot of times I've um, been able to give handouts, um, give them proper websites to go to, or just general knowledge of what I can, I guess, elaborate to give them more things to do. Okay, I can see you're very good at what you do, Mr. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, one of my weaknesses, I get anxious. When I have an idea about getting something done, I like to get it done like yesterday. However, having to follow a chain of command and do whatever else is necessary and putting a strategy together, together to make it happen sometimes makes me even more anxious. So I just have to pace myself, slow down, and communicate with the necessary parties to help make my vision become a reality. Now, we're still on examining yourself. Right. Mr. Hill mentioned earlier about communicating, how he communicates well with his patrons or clients or who whoever he's serving in the community. Can you elaborate a little bit on that, Mr. Hill? Yeah, I think when you say uh, examine yourself, the ability to communicate effectively, one thing you have to do, you have to be able to pronunciate things. You have to be able to put out there what you're looking for, to communicate what you need, what information you have to get out. And I think that's one of the biggest things, too, communicate. Okay, yeah. So, in other words, it's tomato, not to model? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, okay, Mr. Hill. Now, when it comes to communicating, I find that not only is it good to be able to communicate in person, mm -hmm. but as well on the telephone. Yes, very good. Yeah, cool. that's, that's kind of important. And we could even take it a step further on the computer, sending emails. How do you send those emails? Right. Do you address the person? Do you say hello? Do you use their name? Do you, do you just say sir or ma'am? These are just some small tips and things you need to investigate so that you can have those good communication skills all the way around. Right. Mm -hmm. That's important. 
Now we're going to move to your specialty, Mr. Hill. Gauge your computer skills. Oh, yes. Which could you care to would you care to elaborate on that for me, Mr. Hill? Now when you say gauge your computer skills, what are you actually getting, Ms. Oh, I mean know what your computer skills are. Are you familiar with a lot of different programs with the social media? How many words can you type? minute, things of that nature, just your basic, do you know the keyboard by heart? Right. Things like that, right. Mr. Hill. And I think one of the abilities you have to know at least how to first turn the computer on. Oh, wow. You know how to turn the computer on, you have to be very, you know, turn the computer on. And you have to be able to at least know the keyboard, at least know where your keys are, at least be able to know around the keyboards yourself, know how to use the mouse. And you have to have I was a saying, mouse, not a mouse. What do you I mean? That's a proper email. <laughs> when I say mouse, about the mouse that goes with the computer. But Thank you, Mr. You have you, to Mr. properly Hill. be able to use the computer, the keyboard, and the mouse correctly. Okay, good. As well as the terminology. That's why I said, oh, a mouse. A mouse is part of the computer terminology that you should be familiar with. And. Um, we're going to be wrapping up shortly. A few household things, things that you could do at home, just in general, um, when you're preparing for looking for a career, Mr. Hill, you have any suggestions? Now, as far as at home, I would say, are we talking about searching the internet or just as far as things they need to bring with them when they come here or just in general? Say searching the internet. Let's go with that. Stick with the computer so, aspect. I would say search the internet for one, at least you have to be able to know how to operate your phone. At least be able to know what to search for. If you don't know, you can always talk to Google and ask. Say, Google, what's some good sites? What's some good leads? Give me some good, I would say, websites. Look for jobs at. That'll be some of the things you would want to know and ask about. Okay, great. And, and what I like to say is if you have a little corner of space, um, in your house, apartment, whatever um, you have. Um, set up a little office, a little quiet space with a light, a desk, chair, or when you have thoughts or, you, or an area that you can work from. A lot of people are, um, based on the pandemic, forced to work home remotely. So we set up offices. Just get yourself prepared and, and um, in the mode of I'm working or I'm preparing for work. I think it helps. Okay, that sounds great. And some, uh, what are some other things you think they might need, Mr. Wright? Might need an open mind. Um, search for jobs and things that you may not, it may be a different area versus what you've done in the past. But you would use your current skills and you can modify them and apply for a variety of different jobs. And don't be afraid to start with part-time because it may turn into a full-time. And that's what happened with me. Just hang in there. All right. That sounds great. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to wrap this series up for now. And we're going to get in the process and we're going to do a mock interview. Thank you for joining us and have a great day. Be safe. Hello. My name is Miss Green. Good morning, Miss Green. My name is Mr. Kirby. How are you today? Nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Kirby. You I am too. well. And yourself? Good. Thank you for awesome. having me. Awesome. Please have a seat. Thank you. So today you are applying for the research assistant yes. position here at our library. Can you first tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah. For the last, I would say, maybe five to six years, I've been doing uh, research as far as with medical supplies, and I've been working as far as uh, doing chemical research, things of that nature, to help me be qualified for this position. Okay. So since the position is inside of the library, what do you know about library services? Well, from what I've been doing, and I've worked inside of uh, customer service for our dinner, but, um, as far as the uh, college library, I've worked in there before. Um, I know the system as far as the uh, alphabet and numeric, as far as library codes, th things of that nature. All right, very good. Can you tell me about the time you had to adapt to a difficult situation? Well, right now, because everything that's going on with COVID, it's been very difficult. So I'm adapting to this situation, been having to work from home, or I would say doing Zoom conference interviews and things of that nature right now. Okay, so with your little bit of research experience um, adapting to using Zoom, how did that take part? Uh, well, a lot of it was 
do links from when they offer you a job, they send you a link okay. and say you have to get on Zoom or you have to do a webinar or they sometimes they use even cameras like your webcam mm -hmm. and so you have to get the proper link and they, they give you proper stuff and just take your time and just go through and they link you up. Okay, so it's all about taking your time. Yes, ma'am. Read the instructions, yes. they're there. Yes, ma'am. All right. So why do you believe you're qualified for this position? Well, with the background, with the research, and, and the library things I've been doing, I feel I'm very qualified because not only I'm a fast learner, I pay close attention and I'm always willing to learn and go to the above the stream to the knowledge. All right. And you're going to need that because working in a library, you're going to see people from all backgrounds of life. They're going to need research from everything, stuff you've probably never heard of. Okay. Um, so just knowing how to use Google in those basic research tools are going to be needed. Okay. Um, and you're going to be able to, you're going to have to need to be able to tell them how to use them. Okay. Okay. So um, tell me when you made a suggestion suggestion to improve your work. Well, one suggestion was we were having a problem with some materials and things that we couldn't find. So I suggested about you know researching, about taking time out and maybe doing some different calls so we get the knowledge in and all the information we want to kind of make the system better that we had going. Okay. Okay. So were you able to find it online? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, Google is awesome. <laughs> Google is our best friend. <laughs> all right. So tell me how you work effectively under pressure. Hmm. Well, I would figure when things are under pressure, the first thing to do is take time to breathe. Take time to think. Don't let nobody rush you. Take your time. So most of the time, if something pretty, just kind of back up for a little bit and just take your time and look at it a different way. Like they say, Lusa and yeah, breathe. Yes, ma'am. Very good, very good. When you are given a, an assignment, how do you approach it? Well, what I do is look at the most difficult assignment first. Okay. And I kind of like categorize from maybe one to five, what will be the most important to the least important. So what I think is urgent that's needed at that time, before the end of the day, I would concentrate on that one first and then let the other ones fall into place. Okay. So after you have figured out which ones are more important, if your manager came and said, um, number three on the bottom of your list needs to be done today, you're going to move that up the pole? Yes, ma'am. You have the multi-tab. Let me know that one's coming first. Everything else is pushed back. Then you jump right back on that. Awesome. Thank you. What parts of education do you see as relevant to this position? Um, education, number one, education. Like I said, being able to research the Google and just have knowledge of what to do and how to do it. 